of your pre-kava. And I want you to be able to follow your left and right common carotid arteries down to where they actually meet. And so that's what your goal is, is to, without too much disruption, follow those common carotid arteries down to where they meet or Y off of a main trunk, which you might be able to appreciate from that view. In order to follow the rest of that trunk on down to the heart, we have to further expose the heart. There is a sac called the pericardial sac that surrounds the heart. It places the heart in a separate cavity of the lungs, as you can tell. I'm going to grab up that cellophane wrapper pericardial sac, and I'm going to cut along this ventral surface. And this is some lung tissue here. I'll retract laterally, but there's also thymus on that pericardial sac. Carefully cut the pericardial sac with its with a thymus. So I've cut the pericardial sac on the ventral surface of the heart, uh, including the thymus, which is laying with the pericardial sac on the ventral surface, all the way up to where the blue structures are located very, very carefully. Uh, trying to avoid cutting the blue structures. And let's go ahead and push that pericardial sac out of the way. Okay, so we've pushed it out of the way, basically dorsally, and we have what looks like uh, almost an acorn uh, sitting in this big um, thoracic cavity. It's the heart. This is the ventricular area. These are the auricles of the atria. And the ventricles are separated by an inner wall that has on the surface of the heart a coronary blood vessel. We can call this a coronary artery. There's also a coronary vein ordinarily accompanying that. And you can see it has a nice pink color. The pointy part is the apex of the heart. This coronary artery is important to find because posterior to that coronary artery is the left ventricle. Anterior to that coronary artery is the right ventricle. This is the right auricle of the right atrium. This is the left auricle of the left atrium. When I push the heart down somewhat towards the diaphragm and the abdominal uh, cavity, you should see this whitish structure that is emanating from the right ventricle. That's the pulmonary trunk that is taking blood to the lungs. The aorta is behind that. So, in order to find that, take your tweezers or forceps and try and go dorsally, anterior dorsally, to find that aortic arch. And, let's see, I think I can show that to you right here. The aortic arch gives off two main branches. One is the brachiocephalic and the other is the subclavian. And because it's going to the pig's left side, that's the left subclavian. In order to uncover the aortic arch and its branches, I'm going to ask you to cut through some of these veins that are laying on their surface. Taking your scissors, taking the sharp point, placing it underneath, following this little branch that you should be able to appreciate before you make your cut, cut through that vein and then cut through the next vein. One of the veins that you cut was a subclavian vein. The other one was um, going to the internal and external jugulars. However, you have those venous structures preserved on the other side. In doing so now, we can retract or pull it off to the pig's right side. And in doing that, we're nicely uncovering our aortic arch, which is going to arch back and run down the dorsal uh, surface of the thoracic cavity and its first branch. Right here, I'm going to use my blunt probe because I don't want to rip it. The very first branch coming off is the brachiocephalic. Brachiocephalic means arm, breaking his arm, and cephalic is head. So that means the blood vessels coming off of this are going to supply the head and the arm. So it's the brachiocephalic. And remember, your bicarotid trunk 
Here it is. Here's your common carotid on the left. Here is your common carotid on the right. There's unfortunately been a little cut right here. Hopefully that will not happen to you. This is where they join at the Y. So be very careful. The latex um, has been exposed now. Yeah, let's see. If we can find a blood vessel that should be coming off right about in this area. That's going to feed the arm, and that's going to be called the subclavian. And it's actually this little guy right here. I'll actually stop dissecting it at this time. Uh, take some time to be more careful in my dissections. Let's go ahead and go back to the aortic arch. And remember, we have pericardial sac that's going to be back here dorsally. And there's actually going to be some nerves that are also going to be um, running by the heart and lungs that control the diaphragm and your internal organs. And I am going to want to uncover this area. So I want you to appreciate that I'm taking my super tips and I'm just going right on the surface of the pulmonary trunk making a little snip because nerves are very strong and they have lots of what's called connective tissue keeping them strong and it's keeping me from being able to follow that back. So I'm just making cuts on that. Okay. So that's cutting the pericardial sac and nerves. I'm pushing my lungs and heart and turning my pig off to the pig's right side. And in doing so, I'm attempting to uncover more of my aorta. And here we are. Move the nerves. I'm going to move them out of the way. There we go. Oh, beautiful. This blood vessel, remember our, our, um, our trl tree has some blue latex in it. This blood vessel, which ordinarily should be pink, is blue coming off of this aortic arch, and that is the left subclavian. So we have our brachiocephalic, we have our left subclavian, the aortic arch is going to run along the dorsal aspect of the thoracic cavity, in order to follow it, we'll need to remove the attachments of the diaphragm to that thoracic cavity. I'm running my finger along the diaphragm, and I'm taking the scissors, and I'm snipping away at the diaphragm, pulling it down on this side. And in doing so, you can appreciate that you can get a better view in the into the dorsal aspect of the thoracic cavity of your pig. That blue structure that you see there is indeed a vein. It's called the azagous vein. You don't need to know that, but it is a vein. That's normal. And it's going to run across with a thoracic aorta. And that's the white structure that you see. 